The African narrative right now is about us looking at Africa from an African perspective, where we let Africans tell their own stories from their perspective. The African run narrative right now is about saying that Africa is open for business and that Africa presents the opportunities that are necessary or that are required by all investors. And the African narrative is about saying that where others see poverty, we see opportunity. It is the same. We see ourselves as an integral part of Africa. We are part of the African continent. And we also see ourselves actually as a gateway to Africa to say that any investor that's looking at making investments into the African continent can make South Africa the landing pad, so to speak, and then, and then move on into the rest of the continent. We also believe as a policy, as a country of, um, we also believe in regional integration because we know that there can be no South Africa without Africa. Mm -hmm. I think what we should make reference to in the, is, is the past, that in the past it was others who were telling us what Africa is or what Africa is about. And now we are calling for a shift to say that let Africans tell their own story, let Africans determine their own agenda, let Africans determine what future they want to have. I'll speak from a personal experience, which was actually um, is related to a previous role that I held where I was a consultant for, um, you know, an international organization, um, which was obviously outside Africa. And, and there was, as I was doing this work for this organization, they provided me images, which were part of their image bank uh, in the communications team, and said that these are the images that I should use of Africa or the project that I was working on, because that's what was in the communications bank. And I refused as an African, because I said that this is not the image of Africa that I know. And I can speak with authenticity because because I am African and uh, the organization itself was not African, as, as I've said. And so um, in refusing, as much as I was, I, I was a consultant to this organization, in refusing, I said to them, give me an opportunity to create you know, an image or a brand for what you are trying to achieve. Give me the scope, the leeway, and I'll come back to you with what I think should be this image of Africa that, that, is, that will answer to what you are seeking to achieve. It will not be divergent. It will still be uh, in line with your objectives, but let me create it as an African. Fortunately, they allowed me the opportunity without me losing my contract, and I was able to, uh, so to speak, discard the images that I had been given from their image bank and create an Africa or images of an Africa that is global and images of an Africa that is an equal player in the global space. Um, I've, I've said that where, for example, there is poverty, we see an opportunity. Uh, so where in a negative way, others see lack of infrastructure in Africa. We should see that as an opportunity for investment in logistics and in infrastructure. Where others see that, oh, there's no electricity in Africa. So that should be an opportunity for investment in electricity and in business. So wherever there are the negatives, we should turn them into opportunities. And this is us as Africans ourselves um, who can come up with innovative solutions to the problems or the negatives that we have. And then investors who are coming from outside Africa and looking at Africa from, um, from an outside point of view, measuring 
um, what we have with their standards and identifying the lacks. So there is an opportunity. I think that's why Africans are, are happy people because they're optimistic. You know, we don't dwell in, 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 in a depressive state where we're saying things don't work out. Africans are resilient. Africans are hopeful. And I think that's what drives us. And that's, that's what forms part of the energy and the vibrancy of Africa, which is unique, actually, in, uh, to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. First of all, um, if we are Africans outside the diaspora, we must realize that we can play a part by one, being ambassadors of the continent, because you may be the only person that uh, a person from outside Africa may interact with uh, from the continent. Therefore, whatever you say, the manner you conduct yourself, then becomes a representation of the whole continent. But more than that, more than the ambassadorship role and flying the, the African continent flag, we should also look at ourselves as being able to, you know, as you said, play a part. We should be able to plow back into the African continent by identifying identifying the gaps and then closing the gaps with what we have learned from outside uh, the, the continent, closing the gaps with, with best practice from outside the continent and also seeing ourselves as social entrepreneurs, for example, systems entrepreneurs, where there are problems, we come in and um, from an entrepreneurial point of view, come up with innovative solutions and solve those specific problems. So there are various ways in which um, as Africans, we can intervene uh, to make things better for the continent. I think the solutions um, lie with each of us, but we need to look, we, look, we need to look around, we need to reflect, we need to dig deep, and, and, and we need to think more, uh, more so because we will have experienced the problems ourselves. So the solutions could then probably be even much better because they can be authentic. Mm 